Hi guys, today we've got a H&M haul. It's just a mini one, so it's not gonna be a very long video, but I thought I'd talk through it because I've just recorded it all for a reel and I really, really like this stuff. And I'm gonna show you how I style it in my house as well. So I actually got this from H&M Physical Store. They've just opened one in Newcastle, so I took myself over and had a look. I have been in H&M stores before, but they're mainly in London. Um, so it's really nice to have one on my doorstep now. Typically, I just do shopping with them online, but it is really nice to have a store that you can go and actually physically feel things, touch them, see how big they are, see if they'd work in your space because sometimes just sometimes things don't actually like look in person as they look online as i said i'm just going to whiz through them it's not going to be a super long video but first things first um this caught my eye it's just a tray it's not a bath tray i don't think is this meant to be a bath tray this might meant to be a bath tray i've just thought about that i'm actually just going to use it to style stuff on my windowsill i have got little trinket trays on my windowsill but they're not doing enough at the minute and i feel like because everything's marble and white it all just kind of like blends in and gets lost so when i saw this and how they'd styled it in the shop they had some pieces sat on top and i thought that would look really nice it's got this really nice ridged surface two planks wide it's not very thick and then it's got these um feet underneath to lift it off of the surface a little bit feels like it's really well sealed so to be able to use it in a bathroom that one and then i've got some pieces to style on top i had a duo set like toothbrush holder and then a hand dispenser but i broke the thingy of this when i was last in my bathroom so i've never got to replace it so i thought let me get these two they really caught my eye i love the wood on this how gorgeous is that it's like a kind of dark stained oak look it's so pretty and then i just love this speckled i love this speckled very creamy neutral of course looking uh holder for toothbrushes and toothpaste because i'm missing that at the minute holder was 6.99 and the dispenser was 9.99 this cedarwood zen candle as you can see beautiful vessel when this is finished with, like when I've burnt through the candle, I'm 100% cleaning it out and using it to store like makeup brushes or something, because this is too nice to throw away. The candle itself was $12.99. It smells nice. What, what does it say here? Okay, cedarwood zen, a quart of soft cedarwood, cedarwood, am I saying that wrong? Cedarwood, a fresh top of eucalyptus and a touch of papyrus, papyrus? I need to get to learning these words. Yeah, I would say earthy, so I'm guessing that's what the cedar wood and everything pulls through. But it just, I can imagine just lighting this when I'm having a bath and just feeling, you know, really, really zen. <laughs> diffuser, the diffuser doesn't match the candle. The I should have done that, but I just got excited at all of the options that were there. Sublime patchouli room diffuser, rich patchouli with sweet hints of orchid and fig, a light-hearted stroll through a forest in the spring. I just thought that was a vibe. This is it, very pretty. That almost looks like a perfume bottle, doesn't it? That's so nice. Smoked glass, very slight gray tinge to it, but that is very, very pretty. <gasps> that smells so good. I haven't even opened it. So I need to go and film some stuff after this. So I'm hoping I don't get stuff all over my top. By the way, if you can see specks of paint on my top, it's because I have already been doing work. I've been painting outside in a dress. I know who told me to do that. It's my own fault, but. I mean, it looked cute, so. That smells so good. Yeah, okay, that's a 10 out of 10 for me. I mean, we'll see how it spreads through the air and how long it lasts. A little tip, so you know when you, you change the reeds of the diffusers, apparently don't take them all and turn them all upside down. So the reed that this is made from, it can get clogged up with the oils that are in the uh, treatment. And if you turn them all over, they kind of lose their longevity altogether. Whereas if you turn one or two over at a time, like once a week or so, basically only turn one or two of the sticks round when you want to let, let the room smell more fragrant again because it's just better at emitting the smell over time. These are mainly bathroom bits so far and then the final thing I got from the bathroom is this little bath mat. So I've had um, the Ikea bath mats and they are absolutely fine but this one just caught my eye because it seems much thicker and much more cosy like I just want to stand out of my shower onto this and just like dig my little toes into it. Also love the colour, gonna bring warmth to the area and a little bit of texture. $14.99, I don't know if I said what the diffuser was, the diffuser ended up being $9.99 as well. I like the back of this bath mat as well, you can't feel it, but if you can see, it has like a glue on these. Not a sticky glue, but you can feel that it's got some tension, so it's not gonna slip and slide underneath you in the floor, so it's gonna keep you balanced when you're when he's stepping out the shower you know but oh i just love this i know you can get these from places but i just really like the color of this one now i have actually had a jewelry stand 
from H&M years ago, literally exactly like this. But I bought it in silver back when I was a chrome girl. I got rid of it, I think I put it on Facebook Marketplace or I gave it to a friend or something. And then I saw it again today and I was like, do you know what? I'm always moaning that I can't see my necklaces on display. So I just kind of like have them in this box. I have to like dig through for them then they get tangled and stuff. And I was like, why don't I just have this? Like I can just have it on display. It's black, it fits my decor. And this was, $12.99, it's got a bit of rubber on the base, so where you put it down, it's not gonna mark it. And then it's also got this tray at the bottom. So if you can see, there's a slight lip around the outside, so I can hang my bracelets and necklaces. And then at the bottom, I can put things like earrings or watches or small trinkety bits. Final thing, I know I told you that this was a short haul. I'm sorry, if you want me to go shopping again, just let me know and I can go and do it. But I saw this and I just thought it was really cute. I'm not a massive cook, cook fan, cooker, chef. I do enjoy cooking and when I get into it, I'm into it, like I'm enjoying it. I've got music on, I'm like thinking I'm, you know. But I thought for the times when I am in my groove in the kitchen, I bought this little apron. I mean, it looks like a DIY overall. When I'm cooking, I will try really hard to just wash my hands in between if I've got stuff on them. But more time I'm gonna do a little, I'm gonna do a little swipe. So if I've got this to aid in a little bit of protection and also look really cute in the kitchen, then I thought, why not? $17.99 and it says that it's a linen blend. Well, that was that for that little haul. As I say, it was really mini. I'm sorry if you're expecting something super long, but I thought the pieces were worth mentioning. Um, as I say, that got them all from H&M. You can shop online or in store. I think a lot of them are kind of like staple pieces, so they have them a lot, but some of them are probably quite new and trend, like trend led and new in. So definitely worth going and having a little look. Maybe I should do like a Zara home haul next. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see. Anyway, I'm gonna go get back to work now. So I will see you in the next video. Take care guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.